Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm a registered dietitian and sport nutritionist. If you're new here, welcome. In this channel, we talk about anything about sport nutrition and how that relates to making sure that you are fueling for your sport. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what we can do with our nutrition if we have an early morning workout. The reason this topic actually came up is because one of my good friends somehow convinced me that it would be a good idea to join them for some morning workouts recently. And I'm one of those people who really can't tolerate a whole lot of food before my workout. And so I tend to not do morning workouts because of that reason. If that sounds like you, you feel really nauseous and not able to eat anything pre-workout in the morning, this is a video for you to make sure that we can have at least some strategies to make sure that we're getting the minimum amount of carbohydrates to make sure that you're feeling for your sport. The reason this is really important is because a lot of times if you're doing all morning workouts and you are never fueling for those workouts, you're always going to be fasted during your training and this is maybe not the best choice, especially when you have high intense activities such as a sprint training session or hills or uh, an intense HIIT training or weightlifting. These types of activities really rely heavily on carbohydrates to fuel it and if you never have any carbs pre-workout in the morning after an evening overnight fast, this can definitely lead to you not improving in your activity. It's very unlikely that if your training is at 5, 5.30, 6, that you're going to want to get up two to three hours before that to make sure that we can get a full meal or breakfast in to have adequate time to digest all of that protein and carbs and fat, and therefore it becomes very simple types of foods that we want to be trying to aim for in that first maybe 30 minutes before you get to the gym or to the workout or the training session. What we mean by simple carbohydrate is things that break down very very quickly and easily in the body. So if we compare a complex versus a simple type of carbohydrate, all that really means is that a complex carbohydrate is a bunch of sugar molecules linked together in a long chain versus something that is more simple, which is only one or two sugar molecules linked together. Like the name says, the more complicated the carbohydrate is, the longer it takes the body to break down those chains and absorb that into the system in comparison to a simple carbohydrate, which doesn't take much effort for the body to break down the link between the two molecules of sugar and absorb that into the system. Not only is this a little easier for the body to handle while you are preparing for an intense sort of exercise, but it's also going to provide you with very quick energy sources to use during your workout so that it's not a delayed response in your body getting that sugar delivered to its muscles. Three things that you want to avoid within that first 30 minutes before your workout, again, is fat, fiber, and protein. This is gonna slow down the digestion and release of sugar into the system, which is the fuel that we need, but also is going to lead you to feeling more nauseous and having some negative GI effects if you have that too close to your workouts. Here are five options that you can try to make sure that you're getting enough carbohydrates before your morning workouts. The first option that I will tell people to try is to try some oatmeal. So this guy here is just a large flake oat um, and you can use the more processed type of the oatmeal like the instant oatmeal with the flavors. Those will have a good amount of carbs and actually be quickly and easily digested into your system so that we're able to get a good amount of carbs right away after eating that meal before your workout and also might decrease your chances that you're going to get some GI discomfort. The next option I have for you is bananas. So these guys will have about 30 grams of carbs for one banana which is going to be about the minimum amount that you want to have pre-workout. Bananas or different types of fruits are going to be quickly and easily broken down and digested and are pretty easy on the stomach for an early morning workout if you're feeling nauseous. If you don't like bananas, not to worry, other fruits such as apples or peaches or pears or dried fruit as well are going to work just fine. My third option for you is crackers. So I will use these simple soda biscuit crackers before my, my runs because they're quickly and easily digested. They don't have very much taste so they go down very easily. Like these are your typical like feeling nauseous, not feeling well, able to kind of get some food in. So these might be a really good option if you don't tolerate any other types of uh, foods like the oatmeal or the fruit before your workout. If you don't think you'll be able to tolerate solid food, which some people can't first thing in the morning, they just can't stomach it, 
A good option for you is either doing some sort of a smoothie or even a fruit juice can be a good option to give you some carb before you go on your workout. Lastly, another bonus tip for you is you can use some sort of a sport gel if you're going on a run. This would give you about 20 grams, 25 grams of carbs before you go for your run. And this can be obviously quickly and easily digested because these are designed for actually taking these gels and carbs on your runs. Um, so they're very quickly and easily digested. One warning is that some people, about 20% of people, find that when they have an easily quickly digesting carbohydrate right before their workouts, the spike in insulin to manage that sugar intake plus the activity or the stimulation of the muscles actually can cause some hypoglycemia or low blood sugars. So if you feel like this happens to you, you might want to either include a little bit of fat or protein with it or move that meal back a little bit so it's not super close to that workout. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll talk to you in the next one.